What's up YouTube? So I finally got a gold cube. I've been wanting to get one of these for a really long time and uh, I finally pulled the trigger on it and got one. So uh, today we're going to test it out and we're going to see how it does processing through some of this uh, beach dirt that uh, my dad sent me quite a few years back from Nome, Alaska. I've got two bags of this uh, which should make really uh, quick work. This gold cube will make really quick work of it. And uh, we're going to see how much gold we can pull out of two bags like this. I do have a uh, concentrate bag here. I'm not going to run that for the gold cube because this is already uh, ready to be panned. But if you can see on this uh, bag right there, if the reflection isn't too bad, there is uh, just gold all throughout this uh, black sand concentrate extremely loaded with gold cleaned out from the carpet of the sluice box is what my dad wrote on the bag so uh, i've had this material for quite a few years and today we're going to try it out with the new gold cube all right so as per the supplier recommendation i installed an inline uh, three amp fuse here on the positive lead so uh, hopefully i can prevent myself from accidentally causing any damage to the bilge so let me go ahead and hook the pump up and uh, we'll see what it does. Oh, there we go. I already pre, uh, did that blow that fuse? Really? One second here. All right, let's try this again. Got a new fuse, got the new solder job on it. This should work. All right, there we go. I've got water circulation. We'll let that run for a few seconds, even though I already pre wetted the trays. I just want that to kind of saturate, get any of the air bubbles uh, that might have formed in there out. I kind of brushed it with, uh, with the toothbrush while I hosed it off earlier. I gotta make sure that this uh, tree down here doesn't get too low. Don't wanna run the pump too low and end up burning it up. So now that I've actually got the system circulating with some water, I might hose a little bit more into that tray just to kind of safeguard us from that. that hose run for a few seconds. Alright, now the important thing on this is going to be to not lose any of this dirt. So, what it should do is I'll dump it in here on the top of the gold cube. It'll run all through the four uh, stacks of it. And then uh, basically the washout will uh, go into this bin here. The excess water will flow over and feed our pump reservoir, which is uh, currently taking place right now. That looks good, I'm gonna turn that hose off. And then uh, what should be left in our trays is all the heavies, all the black sand and uh, all the gold should be captured in the, uh, in the four trays that we have here. Well, three trays really, it's a four stack, but it's got three trays with mats. So, let's open this up. See if I can pull this out of here. Don't make it a mess. And on this bag it says beach dirt shoveled from middle beach, edge of rock wall, in front of town. And I've actually uh, been to Nome, Alaska, so I kind of have a good idea where this has come from. Absolutely beautiful up there. My dad passed away at the end of 2017, but he spent like the last five years up there doing beach mining. And uh, he did do some work out on some of the dredges. And he, uh, he just loved it. He was a gold prospector his whole life, but uh, those last five years, he really, uh, he really got to have a blast up there in Nome. All right, so maybe I should have classified this. There are some somewhat bigger stones in here that I didn't originally see. I thought this was all going to be pretty small. On the gold cube, you want to classify your material down to, uh, I think, eighth inch. But most of it's looking pretty small. It doesn't look like there's anything too chunky in there. 
I do have a trommel that's supposed to be on the way, which will classify everything down. I'll just shovel right into the trommel. It'll classify everything down to an eighth inch for me and then spit everything else back out the uh, other side. But uh, the motors on the trommel, oh, you got a big piece there that I'll throw out. Um, the motors on the trommel uh, are on back order. So that was gonna come a little bit later than all the rest of it. Oh, I got a big rock here. Kinda gonna roll that around in here and let all the, all the sand wash off of it just in case there's any gold clinging onto it. The uh, slogan for this unit here is uh, cube it or lose it. And uh, I've heard that to be true. This is supposed to be the, uh, the be all end all of fine gold recovery. So gotta be a little bit more careful. I don't wanna lose any of this sand. I don't have that much to process, so every little bit counts. This thing is uh, supposed to just take shovel full after shovel full, so these two bags are actually going real easy on it. So like on a standard sluice box where you'll have like the real fine gold or the flat gold maybe get carried away on the surface tension of the water. The, uh, the cube design and the way that the mats are set up are supposed to uh, essentially get all the gold for you. So even though I have the extras. Oh, that's a nice piece of quartz. Quartz and gold are often found together. That's a, that's a really cool piece of quartz. Yeah, I'll put that in my back pocket and uh, there actually might even do some gold on that quartz. But even though I expect the cube to catch it all, I do have this uh, tray underneath just in case. I'll uh, pan through that at the end and we'll see, uh, see if it missed anything or if it is as good as they say it is. I'll wash this bag out another time. Get the, uh, wait for it to dry out, shake all the sediment out, and then wash it out. So we got the top tray off of there and uh, just going down and looking there are some really nice pieces of color starting to show in this top tray right along the edge here there's quite a bit uh, like that you can see that's actually gold there's quite a few places in the mat itself that have uh, very visible gold in them like right there by my fingertip you can see right there there's a little bit of color if I get this to focus right um, so I'm going to let the uh, water continue to wash out some of the lighter sediment on this. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, clean these trays out at the end of that and uh, clean it up into something that we can put in a pan. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you how much we've got in the pan at the end of it, okay?
I am by no means an expert panner yet. Um, I got a lot of a lot of practice that I've got to do in order to uh, to be good enough to do this efficiently. So it's taken me a lot longer to do the cleanup than it would if I was better. But um, if you can see this here, there is just a ton of color in this pan here. Um, and there's probably more that I missed. I was panning over top of that pan there. And then I also did a little bit of cleanup over top of this bin here. So, uh, and I have all the original dirt that got washed out uh, in the first place that got kicked out of the gold cube the first time over in that bucket over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get this cleaned up as much as I can. And then uh, probably later in the week, I'm going to run the gold cube again and I'll run through everything that I already ran through and then clean the mats back out and pan through that uh if nothing else just to help with my uh with my panning skills but um i'm very excited this thing uh seems to be getting a lot of fine gold a lot of flower gold a lot of small flakes that would otherwise float away so that's great uh here in michigan that's pretty much what we have is fine gold so the gold cube should do really good with that I've got uh, quite a few different locations that I have in mind to test this out at this spring, summer, and fall, so I am uh, super excited about that. Yeah, I'll get one more. Let's see if I can zoom this thing in. Just try and get as close as I can. Just one more little uh, shot of all that gold that I have there. I'm going to probably clean this up tomorrow. My back's getting a little bit sore from... Uh, crouching down and panning for so long but yeah my dad definitely knew where to get the gold he uh he seemed to have a knack for that um <laughs> kind of a little bit jealous i uh i like prospecting but i don't know if i'll ever be as good at it as he was so definitely uh awesome that i finally got some of this material process that he sent me and uh, i'll get this cleaned up and uh put into vials uh sometime later in the week well, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please hit the uh, thumbs up. Consider becoming a subscriber to my channel. I'm hoping to be able to put out some uh, some videos this summer, finding some Michigan gold and uh, doing some other cool things as well, hopefully. So, thanks.